Hello everyone, this is Meghnath. Welcome back. This is module 27 of the C programming tutorials and memory management in C we're going to learn in this module. So normally if you want to store large variable, large data into a variable, first you need to check whether that much memory is available in the computer or not. And then you need to store it. So nowadays the computers are coming up with one terabyte or two terabytes, or it's a huge but when C language started way back in 1970s, the computer's memory used to be uh, very, very limited. So that's the time where you just need to check whether the um, memory is available, then uh, store the data to the variable. And once you're done with the program, you just need to release the memory so that uh, other variables can store. So now we'll see how we can do that, right? So let's get started. What we'll do is we'll try to uh, store some value. Let's say this, we'll write some small program. File new empty file and uh, remember this is module number 27 so save it and I'll just write here 27 dot memory manage and example 1 now now what I'll do is I'll just declare a string so include stdio.h dot h include conivo dot h void main I'll write here care of name of 20 or 30 and I'll write here str cpy of name comma and hi Meghnath hi student hope the course is useful and now I'll just print it so I've given here 30 characters increased to 50. Now I'll just print it. So printf present alias comma name. So let's see if it works or not. And let's see this if it's work if it works or not. So and now str cpo is present in string dot h. So I need to include that. So include std um, st or in the string dot h because strcpo is present in string.h. Let's save it and build it. So you can see no errors, no warnings, let's run the code. You can see, hi student, hope the course is useful. So I'm getting the output here. Yes, I hope so. And now, now I can also declare this in a different way. So let's say I want to store around 10 lines. I want to store this course is useful and you're practicing it and you are referring your friends like this you want to store some large data in this in the string so nowadays the computers are coming up with a huge memory so you don't really need to check with memory is available or not so what you need to do is in in um, 1970s or 90s first you need to check whether com your computer is having this much this much memory or not so so that you can do it using using memory allocation um, let's see how we can do it so for that, I'll just come in this old way of declaring it. Now there is a new way to declare is care of star name. Now when I declare it like this, so this will point to the starting address. This name will point to the starting address of this large string, right? So first I need to check if this memory is available or not, this much memory. So how can I check is name is equal to malloc, malloc. And I want to store, let's take around 200 characters, 200 star and uh, size of char. So I'm just checking uh, uh, 200 character size is available or not. If it's available, this will return the address, starting address, and it'll allocate this memory so that I can use it, right? So memory allocation malloc is a function that's present in stdlib. So include stdlib.h, and it'll allocate 200 bytes of memory, and it'll return the address of the first address. It'll, add, it'll return the memory location of the first bit and this if this memory is not available if 200 into size of char that's 200 bytes is not available this will return null so we need to check if name is equal to null that means the memory is not available i need to write here printf memory is not available else else i'm copying the string and printing it so let's see whether memory is available or not. So this is how we can allocate memory using malloc function. This much size we can allocate it and it will return the address. 
the pointer, uh, the first address. Now, pictorial, if you want me to show it, let me open MS Paint. Now, in this computer, let's take this is my computer memory. Now, I'll just quickly explain this. Let's see here. Now, what we uh, what this malloc will do is, so from the computer memory, it will allocate it will allocate this much. Let's take this is 200 uh, bytes. So let's assume that this is 200 bytes. The first address of this 200 bytes, it will reserve this 200 bytes for this program. And the first address of this first one, let's take 1001, will be written to the name. And so that we can use the 200 memory, 200 bytes, uh, starting from this address. Now, if name is null, that means memory is not available. So we are printing memory is not available. Else, that means name is not null. We are writing it. Let's save it and build it. Let's see, there are no errors. Let's run the code. You can see hi student, hope the course is useful. You're practicing it and you're referring your friends to join this course. I hope so. And now, now let's take, I, I still want to increase the size to 300 characters. After this, I want to increase it. You can also do something called a realloc. So, so you can also write like uh, name is equal to realloc and let's take you want to increase the size to let's take 400 bytes you can do like this 400 star size of char in this case what happens is if it it will check whether uh, whether a memory 400 bytes is available or not if it's available it return um, it return uh, the initial address else it will return null right so realloc is used to increase the memory location if for already assigned value and you can check if you can allocate additional memory and once you're done with the program, you need to free up the memory. So what you can do is you can just write free name. So once you allocate, once you write free name, that will actually remove um, this data that will remove from the memory so that you can use that memory for other variables, right? So in this module, we learned about malloc, which will allocate the memory. In case if you want to increase allocated memory, you can use realloc. And in case, and if you want to remove um, uh, the data from the memory, you have to use free. And remember, these methods are present in stdlib standardlibrary.h. And why do we need this memory management techniques? Because uh, when C language started, computer memory used to be very, very limited. But now, you don't really need this. You can happily write code without, without requiring these um, functions. But still, if you're writing to a miniature computer or if you're writing C programs for small um, hardware, you, you definitely need to check if it's available or not, right? So in this module, we learned about different memory management techniques that are available in C language. And in the next module, we will learn about structures and unions. We completed with this module. And as usual, if you want to get the code snippet that I've used in this, um, in this module, you can actually download it from, uh, you can actually get it from this link. So I'll be uploading it. You can actually get it. So let me, um, I'll just upload it now. Let me click on upload files and select the files that I need to upload and go to go to D drive my programs and I can just add um, memory allocation in C example and I can also add maybe pointer examples which I have not added right so you can see here it's getting uploaded. So in case if you want to get these uh, examples, uh, code snippets that I have uploaded, in case if you want to get it, all you have to do is you need to go to this URL, https colon slash slash github.com slash make not slash c to download, uh, to download the files that I've used for this illustration. Okay, so that's all for now in the next module. So in the next module, we'll learn about structures in C language. Okay, that's all for now.